Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new episode in the Pokemon Pokemon Platinum playthrough. Uh, if you don't remember, in the last episode we of course got our first evolution, if I remember the buttons. We actually got our Monferno, um, which is going to be really useful I think. It's got Mark Punch, which is going to be super good against just normal types. It means we have something that's super effective. And everyone else is doing well, you know, Shinx is level 13, Starly's level 13, which will be evolving soon enough. I don't know the exact level, but I'm pretty sure uh, it will be soon. And then of course, um, one thing that's worth noting actually, is that we got the works key, which means we're going to be going over to... Wait, do we have a damaging... Yeah, we have char uh, We have Spark now. So we're actually going to be going over to the Valley Window Works, I believe is uh, what it's called. And I think there's Team Galactic people there. Like, yeah, so we're going to be going over there. Maybe doing our first boss battle, which is going to be really exciting. Um, so we'll use the Works key, which we got earlier. And we are in. Let's go. This is exciting times, guys. Exciting times. Um, what? No way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. And off he goes to probably alert the commander. Oh, we probably could have avoided that because he was turned around. Oi, this is no fun and games. This is proper work, I tell you. Now, what I'm hoping is that they all have a zoo battle or something, just so I can use Shinx. That's why I put Shinx first in the party. Hit it with a spark. I didn't actually check the Pokemon the Galactic Grunt will have. Oh, a Zubat. That is a stroke of luck. Because it's part flying, we can hit it with a spark. And maybe one hit KO. Who knows, guys? Who knows? It actually hit us with a bite, which means it was quicker than Shinx, which isn't ideal. Come on. One hit KO. The health's going now fast. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Do we have a quick attack? We don't. We're going to have to... Oh, no. Leech Life doesn't do a lot of damage, though. And we should be able to still knock it out, I think. Yeah, it's in dark red still, which means the tackle should do the job nicely. I'm not sure if I have any potions, actually, but that could be a good investment for future episodes. Lots of XP, though. That went up by, like, a third, I'd say. What? Some brat messed up my job. You're damn right I did. <laughs> You're damn right. All right, let me see if I have any potions. Like, I have six. Oh, we are flying, boys. We are flying. Um, I feel like the next one probably won't have a Zubat. But... Like, if it had, like, a, a part normal type. Oh, wait, there's quite a few. Uh, I'm, I'm going to battle this one. Just just to kind of get a range of what, what kind of Pokemon they have. Collecting electricity from the Valley Window Works. That's our mission. Oh, well, you've just given up your mission statement in the first 30 seconds of meeting you. So thank you for that, Mr. Galactic Grunt. Oh, a Glamial. So, yeah, a fighting type move would have been absolutely ideal now. Shinx is definitely going to struggle. So, hopefully... It's faster again. Oh, wait, no, it's fake out, which always goes first, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. And makes me flinch, which is great. Damn, Shinx just takes damage. The defense is really not on point. Hopefully, we can paralyze it, though, with a spark. Go on. Oh, okay, we did a lot of damage there. Hopefully, don't use fake out. Okay, use scratch again. We're going to have to apply another potion after this battle. Come on, Shinx. There it is. Easy as you like. Um... 166 XP, that's level 14 for the boy Shinx. Well, girl Shinx, but it's fine. Um, Stunky. Uh, I'm not sure if Stunky's part normal. I'm going to hope it is, so then we can use a fighting type and just destroy it. Obviously, Monferno's Mark Punch is going to put in work. Do the thing. Come on. Let's hit it with it. It's not. I think we learned that last episode, <laughs> actually. I, that's kind of stupid, I forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we learnt that last episode. We're going to hit it with another one, though, and hopefully knock it out so that focus energy doesn't give it a chance to get a critical hit. Um, my final 186 XP, which is always great. Galactic Grunt has been defeated. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of them. You know, me, Gary. I wonder how Gary's getting on, actually, at this point in the story. I wonder what he's up to. Nonetheless, though, Shinx gets its HP one away from full. And now we're going to go and battle the boss. Um, here it is. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait. That's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. I'd say that's a fair deal. I'd say that's a fair deal, Mars. You know what? 
I'm up for a, I'm up for a bargain. I think Mars has a Zubat and a Perugly. And that Perugly is going to be hard to take out. Hopefully the Muck Punch will come in clutch. Oh, Toxic. Oh, wait. No, I don't have a an Antidote. So hopefully we're going to be able to knock it out before Shinx dies of poison. Damn, that was not a good start to the battle. Come on. Yo, what? That Zubat's defense was worse than the old one. Jeez, Shinx coming in clutch right there. Obviously getting hurt by poison though, but you know, it's fine. Uh, yes, we're going to switch to Monferno who has a fighting move and we'll hopefully get the job done. I'm relying on you, Monferno. This Perugly is level 17, which means it's going to give out a lot of XP for whoever's lucky enough to knock it out. Look at that thingy. Perugly is such an ugly Pokemon. I mean, who would have thought, right? With a name like Perugly, who would have thought? But now nah, look at it. It looks so mean. Come on, Mark Punch. That's half HP at least. Oh, no. Its defense must be so high, dude. Jeez. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? All right, come on, Monferno. Come on, critical hit the thing. Nope, okay. Okay. Oh, and it has a berry as well. Is that an orange berry? It's an orange berry. Yes. I g God, I love that. All right, hopefully this Mark Punch is enough to take it out. Please. Yeah, we go. A critical hit of all times to get a critical hit. It comes in clutch. The most critical hit. Uh, the most clutch critical hit I think we've ever had. 666 XP. God damn, that's a lot of XP. Jeez, Fury Swipes. Uh, Fury Swipes is quite trash from what I remember. But it gets rid of Taunt, and I never use Taunt. So there we go. Another damaging move. There we go. Sorted. Fury Swipes has been learnt for Taunt. And look at that. Wait, no way. We nearly leveled up twice off of one Perugly. This can't be. I lost. You. You. I didn't see that, brat. Something, brat. We'll, we'll just assume. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright though, I quite enjoyed our battle. Yeah, it was a good one. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? But, no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognises. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Oh, and like that, they vanish in a second. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe. Or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. And there she is, like clockwork, boys, like clockwork. Papa, yuck. Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Imagine your dad goes missing. The first thing you say to him is you smell. Jesus Christ. They had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. I, re I remember, isn't there like a really weird backstory about the balloon Pokemon? Oh, no, Shinx. Wait, let me check if I have, like, an antidote. No, I have an awakening. That is not what we're after, but, yeah, Shinx is just going to uh, get knocked out, unfortunately. Oh, Looker, what's he doing here? Hey, Looker. Ah, yes, it is you, yes. I've heard the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? You've run them off, you say? You're a trainer, but... Very well, I should go investigate inside. Always late, isn't he? Always late to the party, Mr. Looker. Um, am I allowed to go? No, right. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What you have said, it is all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. I shall purpose, or I'll, I'll pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eternal City. So there, I must be off, and I'm assuming that's where we're off as well, Looker, so... I'm going to heal up Shinx. Hopefully, we won't get knocked out by the time we reach a Pokemon Center. And then we'll be off on our travels. We are going to Eterna Forest, I believe. So, Monferno is going to be getting... Actually, I, I kind of want to level up Starly. I know Monferno and Starly will both be coming in very clutch against the bug types. But, obviously, Monferno isn't really my priority for leveling up. I'd love to evolve my Starly very soon. So, that is what we're going to be doing in Eterna Forest. So, we'll heal up Shinx and we'll be right back.
And off we go, lads. Off we go. Ooh, what's up with the FPS here? I don't know what's wrong with my PC. I think it's overheating. It's so hot here. <laughs> We're in, like, the middle of a heat wave. I think my PC's overheating. It's all a bit peak. But nonetheless, we're making progress. We're going to the forest. Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I tried to go around the trainer. Did you see that? They just turned around instantly. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into a turn of forest? Well, yeah, sure. Hopefully they have a bug type Pokemon that I can just knock out with a wing attack. No, they have a Ponytar. That is absolutely ideal. I don't have anything that's super effective against that. I guess we're just going to have to hit it with a wing attack. Okay. I'm going to have to use quick attack because that Ponytar is fast. Jeez. Hopefully we can... I hope we manage to knock this out, actually. I don't think we're going to. We might have to swap out... Jeez, yeah, we're going to have to swap out Starly. Oh, Psyduck has water. What am I talking about? Jeez, I completely forgot. <laughs> Psyduck has a water gun, which was absolutely clutch. Like, how could I even forget that? Jeez. All right. Hit it with a water gun and be done with it. Okay, use tackle again. That's fair enough. We're going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center. This is not quality content. Nonetheless, though, easy as you like, Pony Tars down. Psyduck, that's a level up. Easy, easy. Psyduck's level 14 now. Growing stronger. Wants to learn Disable. Ooh, that could be cool. Um, I mean, I could get rid of Tail Whip with Disable. Sure. Disable's a cool move to have. And learn Disable. Yay, good job, Psyduck. Lots of XP as well, which is absolutely ideal. That really dampened my spirits. Well, do you know what did dampen my spirits? The fact I'm going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Like That is just not ideal. Alright, I'll catch you guys when we're back up where we were, because this is not what I had in mind. And we're back, guys. We're back where we were, like we never left. Oh, for Christ's sake, what is it with trainers turning into me? Jesus Christ. I was not prepared, because I don't know what any of the Pokemon, like, any of the trainers have. This dude's obviously going to have, like, rock types, which we're going to have to use Psyduck for again. But I don't want Psyduck to get knocked out, because he's, like... Our only choice against these types. So I'm going to actually put Psyduck first on my party, I think. Just for this point, until we get in the forest. Because Psyduck won't be much use in the forest. Rock Polish. What does that do? Does that, is that defense or attack? Speed. None of them. Fantastic. Still not faster than my Psyduck, though. That just fires a water gun. Easy as you like. I was low-key worried that Geodude would have Sturdy. Sturdy is, like, the most inconvenient ability ever. It's like, I hate playing against Pokemon that have Sturdy. Uh, it's about sending Geodude. So I'm assuming Hiker Daniel has three Geodudes here. It's gonna, we're gonna make light work of them, aren't we, with our water gun. Another water gun. Presumably another one hit KO unless it has Sturdy. Easy as you like. Geodude down. I, I think that was a critical hit, but it doesn't make much difference, I don't think, just because Psyduck's so much stronger and it's super effective. Another Geodude. Will this one be level 12? That'd be cool. It is! What a prediction, because the levels were going up. I'm a genius. And one hit KO. There we go. Easy as like Another critical hit. What are the odds, guys? What are the odds here? 187. Is that... A yep, that's a level up. Psyduck's level 15. Coming in absolutely clutch. Any... Nope. No moves or anything. Hiker Daniel's died. down. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle. It was indeed Daniel. Oh, Starly's evolving. Here we go. I knew it was happening soon, but I didn't realise it would happen, like, now. So we are... Is this Staravia, I think, before it goes into Staraptor? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Come on. Give it to me straight. A Staravia. Yeah, I knew it. That's awesome. We've got a decent bird type. It doesn't learn any moves. No, it doesn't. That's awesome, though. I'm happy with that. Um, oh! Oh! Dodged a bullet there. Um... Right, I'm just trying to think of the best way to approach the forest from here. I think it's literally just... It's going to be past that woman, isn't it? But she's turning around, yep. Yeah. I knew it was coming. I knew we were going to have to make the encounter. I love Pokemon that smell, smell sweet. Like this one. Get a whiff of this. Will it be a Combi? Or a Roselia or something? A Roselia? Yo, I'm too good at this. Too good. And Staravia's wing attack will be super effective. And it has Intimidate, doesn't it? Oh, that's awesome. A wing attack will sort this one out nice and fast. 
Look at that. Star Avia is such a beast, dude. Goddamn. That was easy. We made light work of that and got a lot of XP as well. That was a whole level up off one knockout. Good job. Jeez. What a beast. My Star Avia must be really strong to be knocking that out in one hit. Alright. Onwards and upwards, though. Let's move towards the forest. Okay. That's... Oh. I was scared that trainer was going to turn around. And, we, yeah, we went the wrong way. But what we did get out of this whole ordeal was a heal ball. Yes. I really wanted a heal ball. Um, depending on how long it takes and if these... F oh, for God's sake. Are you kidding me? Why is there so many trainers? What kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? I'm not sure. You should check Bulbapedia or something. Please have a bug type. A Bidoof. Oh... Have, Star Avia doesn't have anything super effective against this, so we're literally either going to have to swap in Monferno to hit with a Mach Punch, or just rely on Star Avia. And hopefully, I think we can just rely on Star Avia. <laughs> Defense Curl's not coming in clutch for you, is it, Bidoof, when we just hit you with a wing attack like that? And we'll hit it with a quick attack just so we make sure we go first. And Bidoof's down. Hopefully, they have another Bidoof, so then I can put in Monferno and use a Mach Punch. Pachirisu, that's electric. We don't want to be using... Okay, I guess we're going to have to use Monferno. Just because Staravia against an electric type is not ideal. I'm not sure if Pachirisu might be part electric as well. Which... No, no, part normal, sorry. Um, If it is part normal, we can use Mac Punch. I'm pretty sure it's just electric though, so we're not going to take the risk. Uh, we're just going to use Ember for now. And hope it does enough damage on its own. Okay, no, it really didn't. And Pachirisu used Charm. That's that's ideal. Attack harshly fell. Okay. Uh, let's just use another Ember. Quick attack. Nice. That won't do much damage. No, it did 3 HP. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. Um, I'll choose Mark Punch. No. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It really, did, it really left it on like 1 HP. Jesus Christ. It used Quick Attack again. What are the odds, dude? Nonetheless, Monferno gets the job done in a messy fashion, but he got the job done nonetheless and got a level up out of it. So, you know, every cloud has a silver lightning. Lining, not lightning. And we got Sienna. Uh, I'm shocked. How did I lose? Well, Sienna, you're just a bit weak. You're not, you're not an alpha male. All right, let's go. We've got to avoid this trainer at all cost. Let's follow them. Ah, oh, look at that. Absolutely maneuvered. Oh. I thought we got in a battle with the Hiker then. I was low-key worried a bit. Oh, we just found a Pachirisu as well. What are the odds of that? Uh, I don't think we really need a Pachirisu. I think we're going to run from this one, Staravia. Oh, Intimidate's so cool. Just instantly, like, the vast majority of Pokemon. Instantly lower attack. Okay. Oh, I, was, I thought she'd just walk straight back up. For God's sake. There's no holding anything back. Um, fighting and flying. I'm assuming she's going to have a fighting type because she's a battle girl. Yeah, a matchup. I'm pretty sure flying might be super effective. Or the other way around. I always forget. <laughs> Jeez. Let's just hope for the best and hit it with a wing attack. It was super effective. One hit KO. Oh, no. Don't match up. Don't do it. Oh, okay. I'm just going to use a quick attack now. Just to get it out of the way. Come on. Quick attack. Ah, uh, there we go. I was... Loki worried that it would somehow survive. Oh, we nearly leveled up again. We are just killing it. I concede. I think you're on a different level. I think you're you're right in saying that. And we found a repel as well, but we don't really need one of those at the moment. All right, let's avoid this trainer. Ha! Okay. And there's a bug. Oh, and we are in a town of forest. And I would say that. Oh wait, who's this? Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are. Oh, so your name is Joe. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Oh, we have to take her out of the forest, don't we? I remember now. I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I heard there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please may I go through with you? And yes, uh, it wasn't an optional thing. I couldn't say no. Uh, yeah, a, a good thing about this whole part is that after every um, battle, Cheryl will heal our Pokemon, or you just speak to her and she'll heal them. So I think that is an appropriate time to end the episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and peace.